my hands together for Sharif Lee. Yeah. Yeah. When I was a kid, I loved to tell stories. I would spend hours with my sibling in our basement, writing and recording these skits on our family camcorder. I would write these little songs about things I frankly had no life experience with, just because I thought there were interesting stories to sing about. I even had an elementary school teacher send a note home about my overactive imagination, looking at tube ads. Regardless of the subject, I always had something to say, and I always had a story to tell. That's not how I felt coming into this class. Picture this. Looking at a presentation prompt, racking your brain for an idea, having nothing much to say. This was probably my biggest concern for Business 225. Sure, I wasn't scared of the class. I thought I'd do okay with the speaking part, and I was ready to put in the work to do as well as I possibly could. But I was far removed from that rambunctious storytelling kid, and I wasn't sure that I actually had something to get across. And then I started working on the first speech. And honestly, I was surprised because once I actually started writing, I realized that I did have something to say. And for every speech after that, I had a clear message that I wanted people to hear, whether I figured it out when I looked at the assignment or right before it was due. Now, why am I saying all of this? Why does it matter? Well, it matters because I don't think the worst thing you can do in this class is being underprepared, even though it definitely doesn't help. Nor do I think the worst thing is forgetting your speech in the middle, even though I'm sure that many of you all are very scared of this. In my opinion, the worst thing that you can do for yourself in this class is believing that you have nothing meaningful to say. For the past 15 weeks, I've looked at my classmates say meaningful things and tell meaningful stories about mental health, about organization strategies, about staying true to your dreams and your culture. I said meaningful things too, even if the topics were like, why you pencils are overrated. After all, this is a business class, but it's also a storytelling class. And you'll learn how to construct a narrative with a clear message and a clear audience so that you can say something meaningful too. That's why it's so useful to have theater professionals as our instructors, because the ability to say something you want to say convincingly is not just a useful skill in a business setting when you're presenting to an executive or pitching an idea, but in a life setting as well. And also, in this class, we focus a lot on learning how to speak outside of ourselves, direct our message to a specific group of people. But in my opinion, I think there's something really revealing about who you are based on what you choose to express. So before you start working on your presentation, I want you to ask yourself what I asked myself earlier in the speech. Why are you saying all this? Why does it matter? I still like telling stories. I just forgot for a while. And just like me, I know that all of you have endless stories to tell too. So tell them. And even if you do find yourself in a situation where you're looking at the presentation prompt, racking your brain for an idea, having nothing much to say, guess what? Because all you have to remember is that not knowing what you want to say yet doesn't mean that you have nothing to say at all. Thank you.